This video covers Power SDR version 2.8.0.141 and all the features since the last video, which I believe was 0.128. The first one was the ESC or Enhanced Signal Clarity uh, function. If Power SDR is in focus, you hold your mouse over there. If you hit F2, you'll get a video explaining ESC. And I've also modified this so that when the panel opens, you can put always on top and you can minimize this and you can leave it down here. It makes it a little easier to use. Uh, kind of use on the fly then. And the video will explain uh, how to use that function. The next is mute. This mute normally uh, normally uh, if the mute is off <clears throat> you can right click and toggle between muting uh, muting everything or muting just the speaker output but not the headphones like that but if you click on the mouse wheel over the top of this you will mute either the uh, all the speakers on the flex or the speaker on your PC toggle between so for those using SDRs uh, online SDRs at the same time the next feature is the zoom if you go to setup display, make sure your high-res panafall is enabled. You, you can enable polyphase, that gives you more resolution, but the penalty is a lag in the display. It won't follow. Let's say you're watching WWV, the ticking, you won't you won't see the, the graphics follow as closely uh, to what you're hearing if you enable this, but you'll get more resolution. But the zoom now goes uh, up to 100 zoom, and if you right click on these instead of times four, if I right click, that's times 10. And in the mouse, if you hold the mouse, it'll tell you what you're doing uh, times 10, times 20, times 40, and then this is times 100 right here. So you have a 100 hertz resolution from here to here with a times uh, 100. And then just left click, it'll go back to 0.5 in this case. Or you can go a little bit lower. The next is uh, the uh, AGC line. The AGC line, if I right click on this, you'll get the AGC line. And then I can, um, I can grab it and move it up. Now, uh, it's moving this AGC here when I grab that. Now, the, there's a slider over here that you can use to adjust what you believe to be, uh, you know, where the number here makes sense for what you're hearing. So you can adjust it like that. You can also now adjust it by grabbing on here. You can adjust the, the floor by moving here, and then the AGC line will follow as you adjust it. But I could, I could pull this up if I want to see see it a little higher in the screen or oh, now a little lower it's just moving this slider here uh, the auto water make sure your auto water pan is selected auto water level uh, this is the basically how bright or dark that you want the baseline of your uh, water to be so that's what those functions are uh, tune step this tune step here I've got it selected now so uh, the phone versus CW when you switch over to CW mode, that tune step will change, uh, so you get a little finer resolution if you wish. It'll you know save it whatever you choose to set it at. When you're in that mode, it'll save it. But also, if you go to the user interface here and you have a power mate knob or a flex control, you can select alternate tune step to use these tune steps. And in this case, that CW. If I go back to sideband, this will go back to another alternate tune step for the power mate knob or the flex control knob. Also I've added an I2C output here. If you click this, uh, if it's in focus you'll get a tool tip and explains it. All the different bands from the 2200 meter, 630 meter uh, will output data, uh, I2C data, so you can use parallel port chips to uh, select different external equipment from the uh, flex wire port on the back. And then under appearance, I added a channel on off here. If you go to 60 meters, normally uh, in the um, in USA you get five channels here. Uh, if I click that, you, you can see the five channels here. If I turn it off, you'll still have. If you enable the shortwave, you'll get 
these channels here you'll get you'll see where they are so you don't that way it's less cluttered you see you know 60 meter channel one channel two channel three so you can see where they are uh, without having the clutter of, of all those blue boxes and uh, that's it